Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fowler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology forecast or message for the week between the 10th and the 17th of March 2018. So, the celestial sphere is warming up, we're actually warming up to the warm up, so to speak, with this new moon happening at the end of this coming week. And we're going to talk about the new moon, but before that, I want to talk about the celestial picture in general. Over the next few weeks, the sky is heating up, heating up, becoming more intense with the configurations until, well, let's say the end of April. This week is a week of cleansing is a week of getting rid of baggage that isn't needed for the leg ahead. You see, we're having a square between Mercury and Venus on the one hand to Saturn on the other. We've had the precursor with the square to Mars and now our relationships and the way we satisfy ourselves in our lives and uh, the way we treat our bodies and the way we draw in income, all Venusian subjects are all subsequent to judgment. It's a time to grow up and mature, says Saturn to Venus. You are challenged to provide me with some action that would prove that you actually deal with the real the way that I like it to be dealt with, the way that it should be dealt with in an efficient, trustworthy fashion and manner. So if there is a Venusian aspect or subject that is not up to par with the Saturnian judgment, it's going to suffer through this week. It can be challenging. But Mercury is also being squared by Saturn. So our rhetoric is under strict judgment. Are we stating things in a way that is mature and efficient? In a way that is deep and trustworthy? That is responsible? Is our rhetoric something we can count on? And we should especially be careful from conflicts. Verbal conflicts, especially with authoritative figures in our lives, especially within a work environment. <coughs> and, of course, within long-term relationships, be they as, as uh, intimate or professional as they may be. On Saturday the 10th, we have the Moon and Mars conjunct. Very energetic day. It's a great day for sports. It's a great day to fix things in your apartment or house or do some work in the garden and go out to uh, have some long walks um, and just vent that energy. Of course, it's also good for sensuality. Please be careful with your houseworks and generally um, with accidents on the tent as well as on the roads be careful not to be too impulsive or aggressive with your approach too headstrong we have the moon squaring chiron a little later on on saturday so it becomes more sensitive it's going to fuel that venus mercury square as well so be careful and be aware more than careful regarding your rhetoric on Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Sunday the 11th, we have Saturday, uh, we have Saturn in Capricorn. Uh, conjunct the moon. So Sunday can feel a little bit like a Monday. We can feel like there's too many things going on, too many things we need to take care of, 
too much responsibility, not enough slack, too much judgment, too much adult responsibility going around uh, for our Sunday. So just um, don't be as strict, cold and judgmental as you can be. Just smooth those edges a little bit. Um, we have the we have Mars squaring I'm sorry we have Mars trining Uranus on that day as well so it can be an exciting day it can be a day that we do things that we didn't do before for the first time that we experiment and you know experimentalization and judgment are a bit in dissonance you have to allow yourself to experiment not be too judgmental just keep your head on your shoulders and that's also a good note for Monday the 12th because the moon is going to be conjunct Pluto so we could be too dramatic we could be caught up in the moment too total and too obsessive regarding our own thoughts and ideas don't be it's great to be passionate about things it's great to um, really adhere to something that is important to you just don't become too intense don't become too intense about it. Tuesday the 13th, we have Venus squaring Saturn, especially on Tuesday, but all through this week, our relationships and the way we treat ourselves, our bodies, and the way we draw in income, and the way we satisfy ourselves are all under judgment, but especially on Tuesday. It's an emotional day. The moon is on the south node, but it's also trining Jupiter from midday onwards. So Jupiter lights up and brings much more optimism and confidence to that day and the moon is going to a little later than that also sextile uh, uh, Venus so as this day progresses the energies are going to lift and brighten and actually by the evening and nighttime we can host we can join people we can have fun actually I recommend that on Tuesday night you Go and have fun, whether it's outside or inside. It could be a wonderful, wonderful time. Wednesday, the 14th, is a bit of a hangover day. <laughs> it's a day with a, a lot of 45 angles, which are frustrating. Sat, uh, Saturn and Mars are squaring Jupiter, which is frustration all over again. I'm sorry, the moon. The moon is going to 45 angles to Saturn and Mars and square Jupiter. That's what I meant to say. So the moon is throwing a 45 angle, a semi-square to Saturn and Mars. That's frustration all over the world. That's a bit of a feeling like there's a dance, uh, a, a step forward, two steps back, an energy that is not fully being born into this world and, and doesn't pick up. So if that happens and we really want to push the gas pedal and we're ending up lifting the handbrake instead, just remember that Boaz Fyler said it's passing, it's passing, it's not going to stay and giggle underneath your upper lip. Uh, Thursday, we have Mars squaring Chiron and the Sun. That square between Mars and Chiron, which of course is felt days before as well, but at its height on Thursday, that's that's the heating up that I've been talking about. That's the challenging that I've been talking about because Mars and, and, and Chiron is not an easy square. That's a square that challenges us, especially in the places we are hurt, small and emotional in. Not in the places that we're well composed and focused and on top of our game at. No, no. This is a time that we can actually see the animal acting up. We can actually see the child within us acting up. We can see the monster lifting its face. And it could be a hurt monster, a vengeful monster, a, a, an angry monster because she's been wronged. It's still a monster. It's still a monster and I want you to remember at this time that the pack moves forward not at the pace of the fastest, strongest wolf, but at the pace of the oldest, slowest wolf. And we are judged not by our most evolved parts, but by our lesser evolved parts. 
talking about judgment, not appreciation. Woody Allen can be appreciated for being a great screenwriter and a great director, but he is judged for having sex with two of his daughters. Harvey Weinstein can be admired for being one of the world's greatest movie producers, but he is judged for the way he treats women and for his sexual uh, delinquencies. And I can go on and on. We are judged for the things we do not as good and as strong, as, as right as some other things we do. This is a time that can draw that bad blood out so we can cleanse it. And there's a big questioning happen, a question mark in the sky. Are our actions actually causing us more pain and suffering or healing the wound? And that goes both on a personal, emotional level and on a more social, public level. It's a time to act on both these realms, on both these levels. We have Mercury in the greatest eastern elongation on Thursday. That means Mercury is extra bright in the sky. If you want to go and say hello, it's a great time to do so. Just after sunset, look for Mercury low in the western sky. And that bright sky, and uh, sorry, that bright star is going to shine, shine, and make your evening time a pleasant, pleasant time. Yes. Okay. So, are there any of that? Friday is a day of cleansing. We have the moon conjunct Neptune a day before a new moon. Remember that the energies that are passing through you before the new moon stay for the next lunar cycle. They're imprinted. So, it's a sensitive day Friday. It's a great day to cocoon inside it's a great day for meditation it's a great day for anything artistic or spiritual it's a great day for being in nature or just connecting to the world it's not a good day for analyzing for being too busy or for using your left brain too much um, or for being too critical so um, Saturday we have the new moon in the 26th degree of Pisces it's conjunct Chiron, it's squaring Mars, and Mars is entering Capricorn uh, later on that day. It's also trining Jupiter, that new moon. What is it all about? New moon in Pisces, conjunct Chiron, squaring Mars is about feeling that anger, feeling that frustration, feeling that hurt, and learning how to forgive and move on, learning how to heal, and see things for the greater good. Learning um, to bring that wisdom in, symbolized by the trying to Jupiter, and actually expand our horizons and our spirituality or spiritual level, so to speak. But it is challenging that square to Chiron, that square to Mars, conjunct Chiron, this new moon is about fully realizing where we are both as a race and as individual humans our own worst enemies and cleansing that out purifying that and moving onwards moving onwards and actually making peace making peace with all these parts within us and within our lives or making peace with that, those people doesn't mean that we need to hug them and be their friend. Just means that we're moving on and not letting that posturous anger uh, keep on poisoning our blood, so to speak. And as I said, great, great time for expansion of our horizons with that trying to Jupiter. And as Mars enters Capricorn, we all become more aware and responsible regarding our actions because we are aware how much they impact our surroundings. So, that's about everything I had to say for this week. I wish you a great, beautiful cleansing. And I don't want to hear uh, about, wow, I wish this week would be behind me. What am I going to... No, 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 no. We are spiritual people. All our lives are about working on ourselves. 
and actually uh, um, transcending our weaker spots. That's why we don't, wa we don't want to end up like some of these people I've mentioned before that already went and strengthened the things that they're already good in, their talents, instead of working on the things they are weakest at. You want to you wanna succeed with your talents? You want to get... You, got, you, 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 wanna, you wanna be judged for your talents? Then you better work on your weak spots because if not, you're gonna be judged for them. No one's gonna uh, admire you for your talents at the end of the day. And of course, for private lessons or joining our courses, you're more than welcome to contact me. I wanna thank you for listening, commenting, and sharing. This is Boaz Feiler. Have a beautiful week. Goodbye.